Hello everyone, I'm happy to see you again and uh, today I would like to talk about divination and about Slavic uh, culture and what option, options are available right now for divinations. Uh, my name is Oksana Marozova and first I would like to tell you about my story how I get to know about um, divination tools. Uh, my grandmother, which was uh, living in a real Slavic village, she actually used a lot of uh, divination tools, but uh, mostly um, she was using beans. She, has, she had a special 40 beans, which she can, uh, from these beans, she can tell you everything, basically everything. Also, she was using a normal cards, uh, like uh, you can uh, find nowadays in any shop, play cards, uh, 36. And it was um, um, this, these two things, she can tell you everything about you. Very easy. And a lot of people were coming to her. Uh, right now, like... Um, I don't use beans because I don't. Ha I haven't had any possibility, unfortunately, to study from here. Uh, but I'm trying to study different tools that is right now available on the market. And uh, nowadays I will present you about some, which I know. And hope you will like us. Nowadays, uh, tarot is very popular. And um, you can see different variation. You can find different variation of Slavic divinations, um, including tarot. And unfortunately, tarot is uh, nothing, nothing to do with um, uh, Slavic culture. It is based on Kabbalah, which is Jewish tradition, or some be some people believe it's Egyptian mythology. And uh, uh, unfortunately, it's not a Slavic at all. Um, also, um, besides tarot, um, nowadays is um, very popular uh, such uh, things uh, as uh, like cards with uh, Slavic gods. Uh, here you can see one of them. Um, like it's uh, 40 cards of uh, the Ukrainian also and I love them you can use them. it uh, has a very nice uh, cards I love them and that's good another is uh, I would like to talk about runes <laughs> there are a bunch of them available on the market and every, a lot of them are saying that they are real Slavic um, runes, but um, uh, here is presented one of them. Uh, and uh, the, the real situation is uh, that uh, the guy found uh, yeah, these runes in his meditation, and now he is telling that this is um, uh, like a something that came from his ancestors but well people say it works and you can decide if you want to work with them or not it's i think everyone can decide what is the best for them this is the other of uh, the rooms uh, the other rooms that is like uh, nowadays is um, popular and it is described in the book of Platonov. Uh, they called it original uh, Venetsk rune. This is, was a tribe, Slavic tribe nearby Germany, who doesn't have any um, state. But uh, people say that they have their own writing but it doesn't prove scientifically. So you decide 
<laughs> of course, if you can uh, use it in your life, but this one, I love them, and I feel connected with um, uh, these runes. Uh, there are 18 of them, and um, it uh, also divided by um, by the wo walls, like Nafi, um, Yaf, and Prav, which is uh, low world, uh, our world, and um, uh, upper world. And um, every rune uh, uh, correlated with uh, certain Slavic gods and has uh, sounds uh, and a lot of features you can do with them, and I really love them. Um, also, I would like you to show uh, other possibilities available on the market right now. A lot of uh, rooms. Uh, you can find uh, the base on the mm. embro embroidery symbols, like these ones. You can see um, they come from embroidery mostly, like uh, this one, for example. If you re if you are into embroidery, and the other one I would like you to present, which I use as well. It is based on the um, Embroidery symbols looks like like this. Uh, you can do exercise. I do Slavic gymnastics for them, and you can also use them for divinations. And you can also, for example. Right now you have some problem. You can check the card and see which uh, gymnastics you need to do. Uh, every symbol has um, a, like also certain meaning. If you into embroidery, uh, you know that. And also it's correlated to um, Slavic horoscope. Uh, this was uh, found during ethnographic uh, research in um, Belarus by uh, Adamovich, and I studied from him. I hope all this information was helpful to you, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. Thank you.